Fletcher got a pass to Vaughn. Vaughn's his man, got him on his hip, rolled around the two-pointer. St. Anthony leads 2 nothing. Moffitt brings it down, flips it on the side, tried to get it to Schuler, but Storm got a hand on it, knocked it into the crowd. It'll be Comet Ball on the side of the court. We're just underway. Quarter number one, championship bracket semifinal. We'll be back here tomorrow night with T-Town and Aldemont. Ought to be rocking inside. Weatherall, baseline jumper. Now, no good. Rebound wide. Off the storm, and the Bulldogs bring it down. On the side, it goes to Wines. Fakes the three, moves in. Nothing there. Back out to Phillips. Storm tries the three. It's too long. Rebound claimed by Phillips. St. Anthony. He needs some help. Who's he going to give it to? He gets it to Wines. He goes down the paint. Puts it up, and no good. A collision. Wines hits the deck. The rebound goes to Phil Rinker. On the other end, Duncan drives. Rejected by Bushu, and a foul on Ryan Bushu. He knocked away the shot of Kyle Duncan, but he got him on the arm. Both teams have opened up with the man-to-man -man defense, and this is what we talked about in the pregame, contesting the pass and challenging shot. 2-0 St. Anthony, but... Mr. Duncan with the chance to tie it up here is a 72% free throw shooter. That one's off to the right, no good. He'll try again. It remains 2-0. We've played a minute. Beecher won the opener here tonight, beating Brownstown 81-56. Duncan rolls this one out. No good. Weatherall had it, lost it. Wines ends up with it. Gets it to Storm, and down court comes St. Anthony. Storm gets it to Bockler. First time he's touched the ball. Bockler, spin move, turns from 10, got it. Chris Bockler with a nice spin move in the paint, lost his man, and then popped in a 10-footer to make it 4-0. Moffitt, right side, tried to get it. Bockler steals it, and in double dribble, it's going on Chris Bockler. And the St. Anthony fans question Jack Kondaisa. <laughs> Bockler got the steal, headed down court. <laughs> no double dribble on it. So it's a uh, common ball. They get it in to Moffitt. He goes baseline, still on the move, puts the shot up. Boucher got a hand on it. Weatherall gets it and sticks it in. That's what I meant by a strong rebound. This Weatherall got that one and powered it up and in, and it's four to two. Bockler uses the screen, needs some help. No one there, so he shoots the three, and he hits it. Bockler couldn't find anyone to pass to. So he nails the three-pointer, and he's got five. Seven to two. There's a lob to Weatherall. Baseline, 10 footer, good again. Luke Weatherall hits from the baseline. Nobody picked him up defensively. Hey, I'll shoot it, and he did. Bulldogs up 7 to 4. Storm has it down the paint, kicks it off to Bushu, off to Bockler. Chris Bockler, double team, fires it down the middle of Wine. From 10, he missed it, but he got fouled on the shot. He'll go to the line for two, and I think Rinker's the guilty party. Yeah, Andy Rinker tried to recover on the cross court pass, and uh, the momentum just carried him into wine. He was shooting the ball. Mike almost made that shot. Yeah. Phil Rinker. Oh, sir, I'm sorry, Phil. Too many Rinkers yeah. out there for you. We got Phil, we got Cody, we got Andy. Wine hits the free throw, his first point. Makes it 8 to 4 Bulldogs. 5.48 left in our first half. The Comets seem to be, uh, they want to establish an inside game, try to pound the ball and penetration, and, and Effingham, or St. Anthony's intent to move the ball around the perimeter and, and hit flashing people to the basket. Wines hits his second free throw, it's 9-4. to four. Rinker gets it to Duncan, goes up for a shot over Phillips and hits it, or over Wines and hits it. So Kyle Duncan hits the two-pointer, it's 9-6. to six. Storm for St. Anthony, gets it off to Wines, open for a three, got it, and a foul is called on. Rinker making contact after the shot. The wine hits the three, give him five, and he got fouled. Chance for rear four point play. Frankie Brandt doesn't believe the call. He's got some words over there, the assistant coach. And oh, they're calling it after the shot. And oh, after Anthony's the shot. He's going to get the ball out of bounds. So, okay. Storm gets it to Wines. He shoots the two. No good this time. Loose ball taken by Rinker. Rinker heads down court. Gets it on the side to Duncan. In the corner, they go to Schuler. Across the paint. Schuler squirts. Rejected by Bushu on the block on the capital. Maybe on Bushu. So that's his second, I guess. Do they give that to Ryan Bushu. Yeah. He did a nice job of leaving his man to stop the penetration. It was just a little late getting there. To, to block the shot. 
Schuler from the line. His toss is no good. You can sort of see the common game plan, Augie. They want to go inside and maybe get some of these Bulldogs in foul trouble, and they've got Bushu on the bench already. He's replaced by... Brandon Weber came in. Yeah. Free throw no good. Schuler missed them both. Phillips grabs the rebound. Now Brandon Weber brings it down for St. Anthony. He's going to work the point. He gets it off to Bockler. Being handed by Moffitt. Bockler drives. Still driving. Baseline jumper. No good. Rebound loose. Wine sucks it up and in. Wine picked up the loose ball and scored. It might cut seven. And it's 14 to 6. St. Anthony up by eight. That's their biggest lead of the quarter. Brinker's got it in the corner. Cross court pass to Schuler. Back out and Fred to go to Rinker from 10. No good. Rebound goes to Phillips for St. Anthony. Brings it down to Storm. Storm spins, plays it up and in. What a great touch on the baseline by Gary Storm. And Dennis Luber says, I need to talk things over. It's timeout on the court. Comets ball. They wanted the timeout after Storm's basket made it a 10-point ball game, 16 to 6. And Moffat tries to get it underneath, and Weber kicks the ball. It'll be Comets ball on the side of the court. Boy, Luke Weather all set a fierce kick. He's got yeah, the key there to free Moffat up. <laughs> Luke can do that. He do He likes that contact. Yeah, he's an intense young man on the basketball floor. Schuler will inbound for Stu Strauss. He gets it into Duncan. Looks in the corner. Now, now Duncan decides to shoot. It's short. Rebound. Control finally by Haney, who's in the game. He gets it out front to Schuler for three. No good. And there's a foul over the back on Chris Bockler. So Richard Haney, a 6'3 junior, came into the ball game for Stu Straws for Phil Rinker. During that timeout, we had a moment ago. That's Bockler's first foul. Now in comes Seamer for Weber in the St. Anthony lineup. Matt Seamer in. It'll be Comet's ball under the basket. Schuler will do the honors. We got four minutes to go in the first quarter. 16 to 6. Schuler needs some help. Finally gets it in to Haney. Back out in front. They go with it to Moffitt. Over to Rink or to Schuler. Schuler drives, kicks it in the corner. Moffitt for three. Got it. Greg Moffitt takes the three pointer. And that's the nine. That's key to, to getting the ball inside. When the defense collapses, that kick out there. That's a nice job by the Comets. Bockler for three. It's good. Chris Bockler hits the three-pointer. He used the screen and got open and failed the three. His second, I believe. And it's 19-9. to nine. So it's back to a 10-point ball game. Inside Weatherall kicks it back out to Moffitt. Bobbles it. Finally gets it over to Schuler. Back out front to Weatherall. Weatherall. Back to Schuler. To Moffitt. Drives, shoots a two this time. It's no good. Long rebound, and we got a push on Seamer, I believe, for St. Anthony. Looks like he's trying to screen out. I think maybe he got a little aggressive on his screen and gets called for the foul. Let's check it. Dak Scott's going to call it. Yep. So Seamer picks up the foul, his first. All right. Thomas get it inbound. Duncan has it. Goes in the corner with it to Schuler. Back out to Duncan. Double teamed over to Moffitt. Now they kick it out. There's a shot by Duncan. No good. Weatherall clears out a rebound. And they call a hold on Wines, I think. I think he got tangled up with Weatherall. Got their arms locked up there. And I think Mike Wines picked up the foul. Coach Diebrink, he seems the boys back the backboard very well. And you missed the block out the ball ago. And they're going to pick up the foul. This game goes long just because of the intensity that they play with. Haney to Schuler, baseline to Moffitt, 19 to 9, Bulldogs by 10, matching their biggest lead, but the Comets have had it on their end of the floor for quite a while. Schuler gets it out to Duncan, looks underneath the Weatherall, can't get it to him, back in the corner to Schuler, would like to shoot a three, but Bockler's on it. Weatherall, baseline to Haney, turns from eight, it's Schuler. I think we're going to count it, and a foul on Duncan now. Will the basket count? It went in. I think it is going to count. Let's see. Yeah, basket good by Duncan. That gives him four. No, oh, it's Haney. I'm sorry, but Haney. I'm sorry, Haney with the basket. Makes it 19 to 11. The foul is on Duncan. That's why I got Duncan's name. Foul was on him. 
so it belongs to St. Anthony. The Bulldogs have five fouls. Two straws have three as the team. Phillips gets it out to Wines. Wines down the paint, fires a three, banks it home. Wow, Mike Wines banks the three from straight out. He's got 10 in the quarter. It's 22 to 11. St. Anthony up by 11, their largest lead. There's the alley-oop underneath the Duncan. He loses it off the floor, turns, fade away, up and no good this time. Rebound Haney. He's got stripped by Seaver. Seaver strips the ball from him. Gets it to Storm. Storm brings it down for St. Anthony. Takes it right side, in the paint, dumps it off the wind. There's the three, no good this time. Loose ball, Schuler's got it. Wines had a pretty good look from the right side. It didn't fall, and Schuler got the rebound. He's still on the dribble. Beats it in the corner to Weatherall. The lob underneath the Duncan. Knocked away by Wines. Saved by Wines, but he goes out of bounds. Dennis Luger's about eight feet out on the floor, wanting to know why Wines didn't get called for a foul going after that rebound. A lot of folks in the crowd probably think the same yeah, I think half the gym wondered what, why there was the foul call. Duncan for three. No good. Rebound loose. Taken this time by Foxman. Long down court to go to Seymour. Seymour on the baseline. Fake goes up for the shot. Nice work by Matt Seymour. A good feed for Chris Foxler. Matt showed real nice patience that time to let the defense pass him up. He let two men, two men fly by before he took the shot. Weatherall turns and shoots. It's no good. Fine pass. We still got a minute 17 to go in our first quarter. It's 24 to 11, St. Anthony. Storm's got it out front for the Bulldogs. Goes down the paint, leaves it with Steamer. Steamer comes in for the shot, gets Storm to the offensive side. And a nice stop by Kyle Duncan. Stop, stop the base line, pick up the, the charge. That, that open a six foot sophomore is going to come in for St. Anthony, and Cody Rinker, a 5 10 freshman, comes in for the Comets, so we're getting the youth movement in here. Seymour sets down for the Bulldogs, Duncan sets down for the Comets. Both, both, these, both these coaches use their, use their bench so well, and that's why every year these teams are so good. Cody Rinker started to make a move, and Doug Wolfman, those two just came into the game, Wolfman fouls Cody Rinker. And that is eight, one, two, three, four, five, six. Only got six on the board. Now it's says seven, so the one and one is in effect. Cody Rinker goes to the line. His toss is up, and he hits. Makes it 24 to 12 with five, uh, 57 seconds to go in our first quarter of play. Next free throw up by Cody. No good. Long rebound. Claimed finally there by Wines of St. Anthony. Ahead to Bockler. Bockler brings it down, still on the dribble, dumps it to Wines. Wines out to Bockler, 47 seconds to go. Coach Kieberg is yelling the play he wants to run here. Off to Phillips, inside to go to Wines. Kicks it out to Holtman for three. Sophomore misses, rebound goes to Haney. There's it out on the side. They go with it to Seth Schuler. Underneath the weather all the time. Nice drive, Luke Aaron Phillips got the foul for St. Anthony. Larry, you touched on the fact that, that uh, Luke Weatherall takes up a lot of space. Well, I was really impressed there how well he ran the floor. As a young man his size, he yeah. get up and down the floor that well. He misses the free throw, and the sophomore Wolfman grabs the rebound for the Bulldogs. Let's see if St. Anthony plays for the last shot here. They lead by 10, 24 to 14, and have the ball. The clock shows 19 seconds to go in the quarter. Boltman gets it out to Jansen. Eric Jansen has it. Bobbles it, still on the dribble, needs some help. Finally fires it out to Phillips. Phillips to Bockler, five seconds, four. Can Bockler get a shot? He drives, he gets it off to Phillips. He lays it up underneath, no good. Rebound, has the horn down. Wines and Weatherall got tangled up going after the quarter action. Comet ball on the alternate possession. Moffat brings it down, gets it on the side to Schuler, inside to Haney, fadeaway 10 footer good. Richard Haney with a nice fadeaway shot. He's got four. Makes it 24 16. And the Comets cut it to eight. They did trail by 13. Bockler has it, shoots a long three. No good this time. Rebound Duncan. That's two strong, clears it down court. Finally to Moffat. Moffat shoots the pass underneath the Schuler. His shot no good. And Strong gets the pass. Very strong foul. He tried to knock away his layup. He did, but he also made contact and picked up the first. Two 
Scruggs had the ability to kind of stay with St. Anthony in the rebound department. And as they're doing that, I see the tempo starting to change yeah. where, where they're trying to beat the St. Anthony defense down the floor. And so far, it seems to be effective. Schuler at the line, his toss is no good off to the right. Now, Seth, an 87% free throw shooter on the year. He's over three tonight, as I recall. Right? Oh, that's correct. Now, Dawson, or, uh, Wolfman sets down for St. Anthony. Seamer comes back in. Here's the toss by Schuler. He hits that. That's his first point of the game. Makes it 24-17, to 17, so the Comets trail by seven, did trail by 13, so they're making inroads. Wines has it for the Bulldogs. Shoots a 10-footer, good. Mike Wines hit a jumper from the free throw line. Inside that, he's got a dozen. And it's 26 to 17. Haney flips it on the side to Schuler. Inside they go to Duncan. Spins, turns, works, shoots over Wines. No good. Rebound goes to Storm. And Anthony clears the bounce. They get it to Bockler. He spins, stops, fadeaway 10-footer. No good. Rebound claimed by Wines of St. Anthony. Bockler open for a three. No good. Rebound this time, Haney. Cody Rinker brings it down for the common. A near steal by Storm. It goes out of bounds. Touch last for Derek Storm. He got his hands on it, but he couldn't control it. 26-17. Luke Weatherall is going to come back in for the Comets here. So he's going to come in for Haney. Larry touched on the free throw shooting. Earlier, the Comets were only one for seven from the foul line in that first quarter. Wow. All right, the Comets will inbound. Shooter gets it to Weatherall and goes off his face out of bounds. He didn't expect the pass to come that hard. He was running towards the pass, and when the pass got there, it went off through his hands, off his face, out of bounds. I'll score on that for you shortly. All right, time back in. St. Anthony brings it down. They lead 26-17, a nine-point lead. They did lead by 13. They get it off to Chris Bockler. Bockler goes baseline. Works gets it off to Wines in the corner. He can't shoot. Back out to Storm. Storm feeds it. Nice pass, but stolen by Rink, uh, stolen by Moffitt. Good job, Craig Moffitt, on the steal. He flies in front of... Uh, he flies in front of Storm and picked up an offensive foul. Wow. Moffitt was... <laughs> that's a tough call. Moffitt was on the dribble and he threw an elbow, I think. Yeah, he threw his arm out. When Storm got close, he gets called for an offensive foul. That's tough. That's why I'm glad I don't wear stripes. <laughs> that's very difficult call to make either way. That could have gone either way. Storm has it for St. Anthony. Gets it out to Bachler, who's handled by Moffitt. In the corner, they go with it to Phillips. Phillips gets it over, and there's an offensive foul on Phillips. And that's the correct goal because he got rid of the ball, then ran in to Schuler. Wait, now, this is a sign of two very well-coached teams. The way they play defense, the way they help each other out, man-to-man. -man. Yeah. Both these teams should be, or both these coaches should be commended for getting their... Super bonus, that's 10 team fouls on St. Anthony. One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight. Yeah, 10 on the board. Schuler's toss is good. That makes it 26 to 18. Four fouls on Stu Straw. 26 to 18. Toss by Schuler, good. He's got three, makes it 26-19. So a seven point ball game. The Comets continue to check away. Black into that deficit. Wines has it for St. Anthony. Gets it off to Phillips. Phillips turns, shoots. It's no good. Rebound Weatherall. Clears it down towards to Cody Rinker. Rinker takes it into the corner. Nothing there. Back out to Weatherall. Baseline pass. Duncan layup. Good. Nice to go in our first half of play, 26-21. St. Anthony hasn't made a basket in a while, Augie. Comets are right back. There's Storm down the paint, loses it, stolen. Taken away from him by Rinker. Rinker drives, stops, takes, shoots over Wines. No good. Wines got the rebound, and then Rinker comes out with the felony by reaching in and picking up a person. She's full exuberant. <laughs> literally the cause of stuff. Yeah. Coaches lose hair or their hair turns gray. But the great thing about youngsters is they just get older they and more older. Experience. Hopefully wiser. <laughs> All right, 26-21. Well, Two Straws got the steal, but got nothing out of it. 
Quickly down court is Thorpe. Gets it off to Wines. Back out to Brian Bushu. He's been rather quiet. Here's Thor uh, Wines for three, and he hits them. Wines has got a rhythm going three-point range. He's got 15 points there in the half for more than half of their 29. 29-21. Bulldogs up by eight. Schuler has it. Spins the dribble in the paint. Can't get in. Out to Weatherall. Baseline Duncan. Loose ball, but Comet get it back. Moffitt has it. Loses it. Picked up out front by Cody Rinker. Off to Duncan. Back to Rinker. Left side, Schuler. Wanted to shoot a three, but Bockler was on him. Back out front to Moffitt. Good patience by the Comet. Underneath, they go to Schuler. He, he missed the layup underneath. Got fouled by Bockler, I believe. Very good patience by the Comets on that possession. Uh, kept working the ball, working the ball, and finally they got a cutter and shooter to the basket. Something they couldn't do last Friday night was get the ball inside against the Bulldogs, but they're doing much better at that tonight. Schuler hits the free throw. He's got four. Makes it 29-22. 4.37 to go here in the first half. Schuler's next toss. Good again. He's got the rhythm back. He's got five off the charity strike. 29-23, it's the six-point St. Anthony lead. Storm gets it off to Bockler. Bockler clears it out of trouble, drives, feeds inside to Bouchou, back to Bockler on the baseline. He needs some help, back to Bouchou, to Bockler. Finally, they go to Storm with it out front on the side to Seamer. Seamer back out front to Wines. Another three on the way. This one's no good. Rebound Seamer. Seamer powers it up from short range. No good. Wines on the rebound. Powers up, got rejected, and a foul is called. Foul is called on uh, Kyle Duncan, I believe. Well, he and Weatherall were together, but I think Duncan's right. I think, yeah, Duncan gets, no, it's on Schuler. How'd he get the foul? I'm not <laughs> sure. <laughs> I didn't think he was close to the play. But it's on Steph Schuler. He says, me? Wines got the rebound, tried to put it up, got hammered, and they called it on Schuler. And the five, first free throw by Wines is good. He's got 16 of their 30. It's 30-23. Bockler sits down. Brandon Weber comes into the lineup for St. Anthony with 4.10 to go in the first half. Wine's second free throw is good. He's got 17, and it's 31 to 23. Comets have the ball. Looking to go underneath. Boy, they've done that a lot. Duncan, now he's feet underneath the mop, and he's in trouble, and he got fouled. That may be on Steamer. I believe it is. They sandwiched Moffitt once he took the pass inside. And Seymour picked up the first pass. Third? That's the third. All right. I'm with you, Larry. You made a comment earlier last Friday night. The comments were trying to get the ball in the paint and had a difficult time. Uh, Coach Luber's made some terrific adjustments to, to be able to do what he's doing tonight. He's putting a lot of pressure on the, the back line for St. Anthony. Next off. Good again. Moffat hits them both. He's got five. And they're also keeping away from Ryan Bouchou, so he doesn't have a chance to block some, some or alter some shots in there. Well, Ryan so Seamer steps down. Ryan spent some time on the bench in the first quarter with two fouls, and, and I'm anxious to see how quick he gets back into the flow of the game. Doug Wolfman comes back into the ball game for St. Anthony. Wines has it. Slips it on the baseline to Boucher. Underneath the Wolfman layup. Good. Doug Wolfman, the sophomore, knew where he ought to go. Underneath him took a pass to Ryan Boucher for the layup. 33-25. Back to an eight-point game. Cody Rinker has it. Goes out front to Moffitt. The Weatherall way out in front being handed by Boucher to Duncan. Duncan gets it off to Cody Rinker. Against Stephen. He jumps in with the second row of black chair seat. Tried to save it, but couldn't. It'll be Colin Paul on the side of the court. Chris Bockler returns for Wolfman in the St. Anthony lineup. 145 to go here in our first half. Thomas inbounded. They get it off to Cody Rinker. Weatherall, nice beat underneath the shooter. He missed the layup, and he got fouled by Storm, who was trailing on the play. Stormy picks up personal number two. Number two. Schuler, who's hit five free throws in the first half, goes to the line. His first one is up and in. Into the lineup comes Seamer for St. Anthony. For Ryan Bushu. Bushu's got two fouls. I think Seamer's got three. But he's going to come back in. 
minute 38 to go. Shula's next free throw is up and good. He's got seven off the line. It's 35 31, a four point ball game.
44 to 38, and now the Duncan is all the way down for it. Just as the Bulldogs did earlier when Weber wasn't looking, this time Duncan wasn't looking, and the ball goes into the crowd, and that's a common turnover. St. Anthony up by six. They break the ties for six in a row. Barkler gets it to Wines underneath. He loses it, kicks it out to Phillips, and he travels. Aaron Phillips wanted to shoot a short shot, decided to get in closer and travel. Turnover from St. Anthony. 44-38. Well, Comet sighted. St. Anthony scored six straight. And had the ball. Inside they go to Duncan, but Wine steals it. Doubles it off the storm, and St. Anthony's got the ball. They go to Bockler for another three on the way. Good. Bockler hits again. He's got 17, and then it's Weber on Member FDIC. All right, time back in. Dennis Luber said we got to put a hand in Chris Barkler's face. He's hit two threes. He's up to 17 points. Ian Wines have 17 apiece. at 47-38 St. Anthony. Comets ball. Weatherall's got it. Man-to-man -man stuff. Off the Moffitt. Looks inside. Nothing there. Out to Rinker. Off to Schuler. Shoots a two. No good. Rebound goes to Fushu. Ahead to Phillips. Phillips. Looks in the corner for Barkler. Can't get it to him. Out to Storm. Derek Storm. Looks underneath. Now back out in front of the Barkler. Down the paint. Tries to get it to Phillips, but it gets deflected and stolen by the Comets. St. Anthony turns it over. They tried to get a little closer to the basket with the pass, and the Comets would have none of that. Moffitt gets it out to Rinker. Rinker gets it over to Schuler. Lob inside to Weatherall. Going to go for the layup, and he got it. Nice feed. Luke's got 10 inside. 27 to 40. Cuts it to 7. Had been 9. Wines has it for St. Anthony. Needs some help. Gets it out to Bushu. Back to Wines. In the corner to Bockler. Bockler back to Wines. The Storm. St. Anthony now changing the offense a little bit. Wines on the right side. Goes out in front to Bushu. The alley-oop underneath to Phillips. But way too long. And Ryan Bushu missed Phillips by a foot and a half. Throws it out of bounds. And that's two trips, two turnovers for St. Anthony. Duncan's open on the left side, takes it out there, gets it back to Rinker. Rinker down the paint, nothing there, back out to Moffitt. Moffitt kicks it off, Duncan shoots for two, no good, we got a shove underneath. On the comments, maybe on Luke Weatherall. Yeah. Check it out, that's who Jack Scott was looking at. We had a push in the back on Aaron Phillips. Yeah. So Weatherall picks up the personal, how many on him? Oh, he had one. His first? Well, I tell you, the key for them is keeping him out of foul trouble. <laughs> we don't know where it's coming from. All right, Storm has it for the Bulldogs. Goes right side to Bockler, inside to Bushu, back to Bockler, shoots from the corner, in and out. Rebound tip, no good. Rebound Phillips had it, lost it. Bockler clears it out, goes up to the layup, didn't get it, but got foul. Great hustle by Chris Bockler to get that loose ball. Worm put up a shot, didn't get it, got foul. <laughs> Kyle Duncan on the personal. That's two on Kyle. St. Anthony hasn't committed a foul in the second half. Comets have two. Bockler at the line. Has 17. Make it 18 as he hits the free throw. 48 to 40. St. Anthony by eight. We got 3.55 to go in our third quarter of play. Next one up. Around and good. Bockler makes them both. He's got 19. 49 to 40, so the Bulldogs, it was tied 38 all. They've outscored uh, the Comets 11 to 2 at that, from that point on. Moffitt has it out front for Stu Strong. Gets it to Weatherall. Weatherall looking. Scribble, needs some help back out to Duncan. Off to Moffitt, down the paint, shoots the short jumper. Out, no good. Rebound Storm. To St. Anthony, clears it out to Bucci, back to Storm. And, Whip it in the corner to Wines, and he travels. Now, a moment ago, Phillips traveled, and Wines said, Aaron, watch your feet. Well, this time, Wines did the same thing. He got the pass, and he shuffled his feet before he took off. So, he can have he's out of gas over there, doesn't he? And he's played hard. He has. He's going to get water and a towel and make him a breather. Rinker gets it out front to Haney. Haney, and underneath, we got a hole. I think that's going to be on line. He and Duncan were WWF in the middle of the paint there, and Wine's got called for the foul. Kyle 
working hard for the next Kyle Duncan, and, and uh, Mike wasn't going to let him have it. He got called for the hole. All right, Jeweler will inbound. Gets it to Haney. Richard Haney takes it out front, leaves it with Rinker. Bill Rinker makes the move and a hold on Phillips. Steve Knable calls the foul. Well, Larry, you said he's grabbing him for the jersey. Larry, you jinxed the Bulldogs. You said they hadn't committed a foul in the half, and now they've got two quick ones. Yeah. Schuler inbounds the Rinker. Back out in front to go to Moffitt. Over to Schuler. Inside to go to Duncan. Works against Wines. Puts it up and out. No good. Rebound loose. Taken by Haney. He clears it out. Off to Moffitt for a wide open three. And he got it. Moffitt hits the three. 49-43. That's what the Comets did in that first half after a sluggish start. Here's Wines for three out of the corner. Short. Rebound goes to Phillips. Lays it in. Aaron Phillips got the rebound and put it in. He's got five all this half. 51 to 43. Bulldogs by eight. 226 to go. Inside to go to Duncan. He shakes loose and he rolls it in. Duncan was hanging on a nice move on the baseline. 51 45. Storm gets it to Bockler. Bockler out front to Phillips. Phillips back to Chris Bockler. Drives on the baseline. Bockler in trouble. Gets it off to Storm. Storm goes all the way for the layup. Won't drop. Rebound. Wines. Fake goes up. Didn't get it. Wines gets the back and got fouled. A hold on Richard Haney, I believe. There's an example of determination by Mike Wines. He got the rebound, then shot, missed it, then got another rebound. A lot of nasty displays there by Mike. Madeline on the backboard. Left that pass to the rebounding. <laughs> <laughs> Seymour in for Bushu in the lineup. Remember, Seymour's got four personal. Luke Weatherall's had his breather. He's going to come back in for Dennis Luber. Bill Ringer steps down. 51-45 Bulldogs. A minute 59 to go in the third. The winner into the championship game Saturday night. The loser in the third place game Saturday afternoon. Storm will inbound for St. Anthony. Looking, looking, gets it into Wines in the corner. Mike Wines needs some help, gets it back to Bockler. Bockler for three, long range. No good. Rebound comes out of there, goes out of bounds, touch last by Weatherall, who took a heck of a tumble under there. To Phillips. Phillips turns, puts it up, and out. No good. Rebound Duncan. Stolen by Bockler. Bockler off the glass. No good and got fouled. What a steal by Chris Bockler. He took that pass that was intended for Schuler. And he just stepped in front of him, stole it, went up for a shot, didn't get it. But he got fouled. Bockler will shoot a pair, and the foul was called on Richard Haney. Free throw by Bockler is no good. He's five foul. He'll try again. A minute 45 to go in the third quarter. Bulldogs up by six. Bockler tries his second attempt. If that it's good. 52-45, St. Anthony now is up by seven. Moffitt brings it down for the common. Gets it on the side to Schuler, inside to Weatherall. Fade away baseline, hits again. Boy, he's got that down there. That's a pretty shot, a big shot. Weatherall's got a dozen. Storm for Wine. Wine goes underneath, nothing there. Back out to Seamer. Seamer clears it out in front to Storm. Storm gets it over to Bockler. Bockler goes baseline, looks for some help for Wine. Straight away, eight footer in and out. Well, Phillips has one go in and out, and that time Wines has one go in and out. So the Bulldogs can't get the lid off right now. Schuler goes inside to Duncan. He's double teamed. He shoots it no good. Haney puts it up no good. This rebound goes to Duncan, and he got that. And it's on Seymour, and that's fine. Seymour battling for the rebound underneath there. Picks up number five. He's going to be replaced by Doug Fulton. So the sophomore comes in. A steamer leaves with uh, 58 seconds to go in the third quarter. And here we are again, Larry. Uh, with leads of nine points in the quarter. The Comets have a chance to cut this down to a three-point game now or, or possibly even a two-point game. Duncan in trouble. Gets it out to Haney. Haney flips it over to Schuler. Schuler. Inside to Weatherall, works over Phillips, shot good. Weatherall's got 14, there's no defense for that shot. 52-49, it's down to three, was nine. Bockler 
to St. Anthony. Goes baseline, still going, puts it off the glass, no good. They call it off empty time. Looking, bounce pass in the corner to Moffitt. Back to Duncan. 
And Anthony up by two. Thomas has the ball. It's never led in the game. Five minutes left. Out in front it goes to Haney. Two straws being very patient. Shooter on three. No good. Rebound Haney for the Comets. Clears it out. So they get it right back. Moffitt takes the three, doesn't take it. Gets it out to Schuler. Seth Schuler leaves it with Weatherall. Inside to Duncan. Baseline, 10-footer. No good. Rebound. Phillips got hammered on the rebound. That's going to be on Luke Weatherall. Phillips had the rebound for the Bulldogs, but Weatherall whacked him across the arm. And picks up the foul. He is second. I tell you, that's it's the first time I've seen Luke not get in. What you call foul trouble that this deep into the yeah. ball game. Yeah, he's done a very good job tonight playing position defense, not just using his strength to play defense. Bockler to Phillips. Phillips off the wine. He goes underneath to the layup and got it. Wines lifts it up and in off the glass. He's got 22. And it's 57 53. St. Anthony by four. Duncan on the baseline throws it out of bounds. Tried to skip a pass over to Haney and he didn't get it. And Thomas wants timeout. So with 4.16 to go, we got timeout. Bulldog defense. Well, uh, Storm brings it down to St. Anthony. Bulldogs up by four and has the ball. They go to Bockler on the right side. Moffitt has been in his jersey all night. Does so again. The wine turn around, eight footer out, no good. Rebound goes to Bushu, and he got fouled over the back. I think Duncan may be the guilty party. Let's check Steve Canable's call here. Yep, two four. That would be the seventh foul on the Comets, so the one and one in effect here for Ryan Boucher. Ryan has two points tonight. Four minutes exactly left in this one. Boucher's first one is no good. Rebound goes to Duncan. He kicks it off to Moffitt. St. Anthony misses the front end of a one and one. Schuler has it. Gets it out front to Duncan. Duncan inside the weather all turn shoots and hits the ball. He's got that turnaround up now. Fast. 55 makes it a two-point ball game. Boxer for the Bulldogs. Goes down the paint. Up on a jump shot. Gets it over to Schuler. Schuler out in front to Duncan. Duncan gets it to Moffitt. Bulldogs playing real tight man to man here. Inside it. Ryan tips it away. Gets it to Storm. Ahead to Chris Bockler. And it doesn't go in. And he got fouled. And he'll shoot two. And Luke Weatherall did all he could do. He had to foul in that situation. So they poked it away from Haney. And then Storm got it. And fed Bockler for a layup. Luke Weatherall blocked and picked up his third foul. Now we got three minutes to go in the game. Luke did what he had to do there. Yeah. I mean, it was a it was a hard foul, but it was a clean foul. Bockler hits the free throw. He's got 24. 61 to 55. Chris may have the quietest 24 points yeah. tonight as I've seen in a while. Well, Moffitt, you know, despite the 24, Moffitt's done a heck of a job on it. Up and in again. Bockler's got 25. 62 to 55. Bulldogs up by seven. Three minutes to go. Usually this triggers a two strong rally. Let's see if they can score this possession. They get it out to Haney. To Duncan. Duncan looks underneath. Now takes it into the paint. Back to Richard Haney. To Schuler inside to Duncan. Double team knocked away. It's stolen by Phillips. And it goes out of bounds. Phillips touched the line. We're not letting Duncan get the open like he was earlier. They're really double teaming on him. Well, Duncan's very dangerous when he catches the ball down low, yeah. passing it off. And that's where that double team is so effective. Rinker, Phil Rinker in for Haney. All right, Comet's ball. Schuler will inbound. Goes to Duncan in the corner with it. Now we're down to 2.40 to go in the ball game. Schuler falls down with it, but kicks it out to a teammate. They keep it alive. Underneath, knocked away and stolen by Bushu. Bushu tipped the pass and stole it. He gets it to Storm. Let's see if the Bulldogs let a little air out of it here. That's the seventh common turnover in the court. Storm has it being hounded out there by Schuler. Goes baseline, nothing there. Storm takes it across to the other side. Needs some help, gets it to Bockler. Bockler flips it out to Vine. There's a three. Good. There's a dagger there, Larry. Vine did a three-pointer off of that play. And a 65-55. St. Anthony by 10 with two minutes 
to go in the game. We said four, we said three, it's down to two. Inside Weatherall, it's up for good again. 20 points for Luke Weatherall. Fantastic shooting from the baseline for the Comets big guy. 65-57. Storm out in front got fouled by Schuler, and I think the Comets have to start putting the Bulldogs at the line. Yeah, I think you're right. I uh, was met at 46 to go. They've got it stopped out by Bockler, and Wine stepped up and hit the big three-pointer. Storm with two points puts it up and in. Storm hits the front end of a one and bonus. He's got three. Makes it 66-57. A nine-point Bulldog lead, 146 on the clock. Next free throw. Storm, good. He made them both. He's got four. And now we got a timeout for St. Anthony. They want to pull a timeout. We'll be back. Going to put on man-to-man -man pressure all over the court, try and slow up their progress down court and see how they handle the press here. They get it in the Moffitt. Moffitt brings it up, storm on him, challenges him at midcourt, gets it across. Moffitt gets it out to Rinker. He shoots a three, no good. Rebound goes to Spushu. He tips it out to Bockler. Bockler brings it down to St. Anthony. Needs some help, gets it over to Storm. And he got fouled by Moffitt at midcourt. That'll put Derek Storm back to the line. That, I think, is 10, which might make it super bonus. Yeah, you're right, Larry. So it's two shots here for Derek Storm. Well, these two teams won't meet again in the regular season, Augie, but there's always that regional over t you know. Boy, what a regional that is, too. <laughs> That's always, yeah, year in, year out. Storm misses the free throw, he'll try again. And if I'm Coach Deeperty, I don't want to see that third back. No, I never, hardly a second, let alone a third meet. I, I've been really impressed with Thomas play tonight. Yes, Storm misses the post. Rebound, Weatherall to Moffitt. Moffitt brings it down to Hurry, gets it to Rinker. Ooh, Rinker almost took step. Gets it off to Duncan. Out front, they go to Schuler. Then Anthony puts a lot of pressure on. Schuler puts it up and out. No good. Rebound, Weatherall. Weatherall fade away. This time he missed one. Rebound goes to Phillips ahead to Wine. Over to Bockler. Bockler drives to the layup, and he goes. Nice pass. The rebound and they cleared it out for a layup. Duncan, baseline jumper, long, no good. Rebound Phillips. Clears it out for St. Anthony. Phillips, the midcourt, gets fouled by Weatherall, fourth foul, by the way. At the line is uh, Aaron Phillips. His free throw is good. He's got six all in the second half. Next free throw, no good, in and out. Rebound, Wine slaps it, but Rinker gets it off to Moffitt. Moffitt heads down court with the ball, goes baseline, and almost stepped out of bounds, saves it, but throws it into Mike Wine's lap. Wine brings it down for St. Anthony. He draws the double team, and he gets it over to Storm. Storm has it, gets it back to Wine. St. Anthony now playing keep away, and there's a reach-in foul as they tie Wine's up. 70 to 57, so there's that 13-point lead. The Bulldogs head back in the first quarter. Cummins got a tie, but never could get the lead on it. They never could get the lead. Could get over that hump. The final score of this game's not going to be indicative oh, no. at all of, of how tight and how hotly contested this game was. Wine's free throw is good. He's got 26. Bockler's got 27. They both had 24 Newton the other night. Weather all steps down. Coach Luber's going to bring in the subs here with 32 seconds to go. In comes Lance Montgomery. In comes Sandy Rinker. Same thing for Coach Neberge. In comes Aaron Weber, Ungren, Jake Neberge, Jordan Turner, and Doug Holtman, Ryan Schutte, Henry Popes. I think that's who. Duncan's still out there. I take that back. Wine's free throw is good. So he ends with 27. Now he's replaced. Haney comes in for Duncan. I tell you, I've been impressed tonight by Mr. Kyle Duncan, among others. He and Weatherall just carried this team. Well, boy, they did their job in the post. And uh, this might have been the, the finest game I've seen either of them play. Jake Neighbor, he steals it, but it gets knocked out of bounds. Touch last by St. Anthony. 24 seconds to go in the game, 72-57, St. Anthony. The white ball, yeah, belongs to St. Anthony. Ungren's going to inbound it. A little discussion.
discussion there on the side who touched the last time and gets it in to Jordan Kerner. Kerner brings it down with 20 seconds to go. We'll be back tomorrow night for T-Town and Aldemont. This place will be rocking tomorrow night. We'll be here about 8 o'clock. The bat ball game for you. Jake Niebergy has it. Goes underneath with the dunk. Red knocked away, but Niebergy gets it back. Eight seconds to go. Aaron Weber shoots. It's around and out. No good. Rebound goes to Aaron Weber. He puts it up to the baseline. No good. Ungren puts it up at the buzzer. No good. It's all over.